Hi there. Hello, Cancer. How are you doing? My deepest, deepest apologies for not doing your eclipse reading. I may get back to it. I may not. I'm just going to be really honest with you. I needed a break. I needed a break. I needed to rest a little bit. I needed some downtime. And I took it. So, but we are here for your August readings. And let's see, or August, April. Let's see what April has in store for Cancers. Judgment, a new beginning. We love that. A rebirth, a new beginning, being called to rise up from the underworld and be reborn. So you're not really chilling. <laughs> you are working a bit. You are investing. You are planting the seeds. Uh, especially when it comes to partnership, you may have found a new partner, you may have renewed a partnership, you may have started working on a new creative venture. This one too. Ooh, interesting. Um, something that you're hoping will have long-term benefits for you. Be long-term sustainability, working on that legacy. Uh, so it is very active energy. And then we had the devil. So there may be some unhealthy parts of this. I think you're overworking. Um, I think you may be working a little too much. And you may be becoming a little bit too attached to this partnership. So just be mindful of that. Keep that in mind. Keep that. Stay in awareness. I think your cards are really flipping out. I think all of these are. Oh, no. Okay. That's good. Um, five of cups. Yeah. I think that's why you end up with this five of cups at the beginning, at the, towards the middle of April. Uh, mourning the things that didn't work out, being just very aware of that, having a deep awareness of the stuff that didn't work out, especially your emotional connections in the past that didn't work out. But you have these, you have this new partnership, you have this new renewed connection, um, if that's what it is. And you still may be feeling like you can't trust it. You may be feeling like you can't trust this person. You may be feeling like you can't trust the situation. Um, you may be feeling like you can't trust yourself. You may be feeling a little disconnected from yourself. We have the high priestess in reverse. Like you're not sure if your intuition is really guiding you where you need to be. Can you trust your emotions? Can you trust your feelings about this? Um, and actively working towards finding that balance of not being in a situation where you are giving more time, energy, and effort than the other person. Um, you really need that to be fixed. We have a seven of cups in reverse. Some of these dreams are just really feeling like they're either like coming to pass <laughs> or they're feeling like they have just been rocked. Like your world has just been rocked. I think you're just realizing that you need to be much more logical. You need to be much more realistic. You need to be much more practical and you need to actually like go out there and do the work. Uh, King of Swords, meditation, mindfulness, really like keeping your mind open about things, uh, which Seems a little contradictory because you have an eight of swords, which is feeling like very trapped <laughs> mentally. So it's like a, a push and pull between this understanding that you need to change the way you're looking at things. You need to be very open minded. You need to master this mental side of things and feeling perhaps trapped by that very like truth. Um, and so then we get an offer coming in, a new cup coming in. So all these things that perhaps haven't worked out, these dreams that you, you're feeling like you need to let go because they're not logical. You're not going to get anywhere with them. But maybe you're still interested in them and you're just not sure how to go about getting back on board, getting these dreams, these fantasies, these things back. Um, there's an offer that comes in and it's reminding you bum, 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 of the past. It's reminding you of this situation that you were just mourning where you lost trust in yourself, where you lost trust in other people, where you were feeling like you were not being equally um, compensated for the time and energy that you put into your situations. Oh, that's a nice victory. Um, not surprised to see that one. King of Cups. All right. So time for you to step into mastery of your emotions. Time for you to emotionally grow up. Time for you to get to this space where you can care for yourself and care for others. It is time for you to take the cup, but it needs to be your own cup. And it needs to be you knowing that you are making the right decision. Yes, you are going to feel stressed. You are going to feel stressed in this situation. It is progression, though, of the source energy, which is needed. You will have victory, though. You will come out on top, and you will need to defend this victory. You may need to stand your ground with this victory. Stand on business, as the youngins like to say. Um, 
if there is something that you are passionate about, if there is a new life that you want for yourself, is there if there is a rebirth and a space where you want to feel much more in control of your emotions, much more in control of your mental health and things of that nature, you're going to have to step up and you're going to have to get to a space where you believe that you deserve it and where you are willing to fight for it. Not in a violent sense or anything of that nature, but just in knowing that you cannot let other people kind of come in and unbalance your scales. You cannot let them come in and throw you off balance uh there is a space of this there's a seven and a seven you have two sevens in reverse there is a, a space of wanting stability but also perhaps fear of exploration fear of stepping out fear of taking a chance you must learn to be brave you must learn to um, allow yourself seven of wands too did you get the other sevens it would be what a seven of swords you don't have seven of swords you need to be clever. That's what's missing. You need to be clever. You need to be smart about how you're going and approaching these things. You need to allow yourself space to expand. That is the only way that you would get to this place of rebirth is allowing yourself to break out of these confines, break out of these shells, break out of this fear and allowing yourself to actually be reborn. OK, so that's going to be it for my lovely cancers. That was the fast reading. Um, It's going to feel emotionally deep, a little emotionally distraught. Um, you will be thinking, overthinking quite a bit, stuck in your head quite a bit. Meditate, find some systems that work for you. Go back to those dreams, review these unhealthy connections and habits, this feeling that you have, that you have to be doing the things that are expected of you um, and working so hard towards perhaps other people's dreams. Taking a look at this legacy, is it your legacy? Is it your dream or is it one that other people have put on you and now you're feeling like your dreams have gotten left in the dust? Really, truly being honest with yourself and learning to be honest with others, going deep within, doing a lot of this emotional digging and work and then embracing that. Embracing that is your superpower to be emotionally um, deep. That is your superpower. That is what you are here to do. You are the cancers. You are the sign of our your cardinal water. And we need cardinal water. You start the new season. Um, you bring us into the depths in a safe way. Uh, Scorpios can drown us. They can be too strong. The waters can be too deep, too strong. But the cancer energy is like home. It's like the mother. It's like a space where we can feel safe. You have to, though, find that safety within yourself. You have to start off with that. And you cannot do this for other people until you do this for yourself. And you have to get to this space where you can trust yourself and believe in yourself and know that you are worthy of that. Okay? All right. Love you, Cancers. See you later. Bye.